What is going on my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade. And one question I get at the channel on a pretty frequent basis is what are my favorite control points to hit up when I'm farming in the game? And I will highlight a few of those today. However, always remember that a player's favorite control point is typically going to be dependent on their play style. Because if you like a run and gun build, you're gonna to wanna to hit up one type of control point. If you like a skill build or sniper build, it may be another. So do me a favor, my fellow agents, let me know in the comments section, how do you play this game? What type of build? do you use i will make an updated version showing even more control points in the next few days hope you enjoyed this one now we are going to jump right into the gameplay footage and i will talk you through exactly what i'm doing and why i enjoy the control points that you're going to see on screen all right my fellow agents let's do some farming can you believe it's been five years since this game came out kind of crazy all right, so we are at MLK Memorial Library, located in downtown East. And the reason I like this spot is, is there are two great vantage points. First of all, right here. And the second one you will see in a moment. Now, I am going to walk you through all of these control points, but I don't want to waste your time. So we are going to skip ahead to the bosses. So I'm going to do that really quick. All right, a few more hits. Should take out Bird. And done. All right, so now we're going to make our way to the other vantage point. And, you know, I mean, it, it, the, the, the control points I hit up are going to be dependent on the build I'm running. You know, I will leave a link to these builds in the video description so you can check them out. This one I use on legendary difficulty as well. So when it comes to heroic content, you're just melting enemies, you know. And so, yeah, just sit back, chill. All right, so we're going to jump up here. This is where we set up shop for the second round or second wave of NPCs. And you'll notice with this spot and the next one I'm showing you where I do use the skill builds is that you're pretty much covered from all sides. You're pretty much good to go regardless of where the NPCs spawn from. You do learn the timing as well. You know, for this one, they can spawn from the right or left. This time they're coming in from the right. And that's it. Keep on uh, taking them out and wait for the boss to show up. Now, one question I get is how long does it take to clear a control point? And that is going to be dependent on the type of build you use. If you're hitting up a control point, you're using a skill build like you see here. Remember, you're being more passive with your gameplay, so it's going to take you a little bit longer. I mean, for me, on average, I want to say around five, five and a half minutes, because you could also have a resource convoy show up that can slow down your time as well, which is one of the main reasons that when I am farming control points, I'm usually using a run and gun build because when you learn the timing of the NPC, you can actually rip through it really quick. You know, being efficient with your time is important. So we're actually just going to jump to a run and gun build right now. We will start with one of my favorite ones to hit up. All right, my fellow agents, we are now at Navy Plaza. And do me a favor, let me know in the comments section what control points do you like to hit up what's your favorite ones to farm and as we move on one thing you're going to notice about this control point is that i do not call for backup until i have cleared the first wave of npcs and you're kind of running a risk if you do that but in this case the reason i do that is because i have the timing down so typically i don't die well i mean it depends i mean oh shit hang on oh lord oh no 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 memento jeez that was way too close yeah, I don't die ever. Everything is fine. Don't worry, people. Nothing to see here. Anyway, before that near-death experience, what I was saying was I wait to call for backup because the way the second wave of NPCs spawn, I mean, they're coming out of a sewer cover, you'll see in a moment. Actually, let's just do this. Let's take out these NPCs, take out the name boss, and then I will chime back in when we get to that point. So now that's done, we are going to go to the edge of the control point. And if you happen to see some random NPCs, make sure you take them out before you fire that flare. So we're going to do that really quick. One. Two. Two. Lord, am I going to... Oh, way too sloppy with my gameplay. I'm just going to edit all that shit out. All right, so now we're going to pop the flare. NPCs are going to spawn either right there, or there's another one to the right. We'll see which one. It's going to be this one.
All right, a few more hits with a shoddy. We should be done and we are good to go. Now we have to wait for backup to show up. I gotta work on my inventory. I have to make an inventory video. That's what I need to do. I don't really, I'm not really a hoarder when it comes to this game, but I've got too much stuff. I gotta deal with that. All right, so now we're just waiting for backup to arrive. That'll clear the control point. And I think for the last one, I'm going to do it on challenging. I do get some requests to do that. Obviously, as you know, in this game, you always want to farm in the highest difficulty you can. That's going to equate to better loot or XP. But for those of you who are new or just returning, you want to jump into challenging. I will show you one of my favorites really quick. All right, my friends, we are now going to the choke, which is just south of the castle. We're going to do this on challenging difficulty. And you'll notice that gives us three field recon instead of four, which we get on heroic. But remember, if you're talking about time management and you can clear more of these on challenging, let's say in an hour than you could on heroic, just go to that lower difficulty, rip through it. Let me know if you have any questions. I want to thank you all for your incredible support of this channel. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Control point nearby.